Welcome to Narrowboat Precious Jet. My name is Steve Tyrrell and you join us on the Coventry Canal in Coventry. Um, we're at Swan Lane Wharf. So this week's uh, video, well, it's going to be another odd job video, I'm afraid. Um, I'm in the process now of ordering all the uh, solar equipment. So until that turns up, that's the next, next major job is the solar equipment and the batteries to get all the electrical system on the boat up and running. So hopefully this week I can get the get that all ordered. Uh, I've got a rough idea of what I want. Uh, Pete next door on Avalon 2, the chap who makes me lovely cups of coffee. Um, he's on the case as well. He's um, a proper electrical engineer. So he's sorting out some solar panels or going through and working out what's best for me, for my system anyway. So, uh, And I've got a couple of ideas of uh, things I'd like myself. <laughs> So this week, like I said, um, just another odd job video, I'm afraid. It's, you know, it's the way it is because you get the major jobs out of the way and you end up with a few little odd jobs or whip as we used to call them in the car trade. <coughs> Excuse me. So we'll get the few odd jobs out of the way um, and there's always going to be odd jobs. There's, there's loads to do around the boat, so I'm going to be busy no matter what. So I hope you enjoy the video. Um, if you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also if you've got anything you'd like to say, I do love your comments, um, please write them in the comments down below, even if it's just to say, hi I'm Tony, I'm in Mississippi and uh, I like crab pie, I don't care, just comment up, say hi, I'll always chat back. Uh, and also if you're watching and you're not subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you did, that's all I'm going to say. Okay, alright, I hope you enjoy the video, let's get on with it. and. Um, see what sort of um, crap I get for you this week <laughs> okay guys catch you in a minute okay so I did leave the boat in a bit of a mess last week um, I ripped out a load of the insulation from under the tug deck because along this uh, beam here or this edge here under the doors there is a leak uh, and it's been leaking for years um, so before I box it all in and, and build my uh, world around it if you like I need to stop it leaking first and that unfortunately is going to involve welding <clears throat> uh, outside the front here at the boat let me have a quick look see if I can show you let's just undo the hatchways right at the front here there's a bit of a joint here look I don't know whether you can see it there's a couple of joints here one for the door frame onto this little um, I presume it's a like a 90 degree bracket and then this other joint further down against the deck. I'm not sure whether they're welded or, not, or just covered in seam sealer. So either way, I need to clear out, clear that out, and find out what's underneath. Because if this, if this line here, I want to weld anyway, because that looks like it's not welded. And water obviously sits in there, because you can just see a bit of water there. Look, and if there's a bit of a gap between there and the actual frame, it's going to leak down and into the boat. And that's like I said, it's been leaking down into the boat for years and that's what's caused a lot of the issues in the past. And also, if you look here, look. You see that? That's definite cracking and it goes right down to the base and it goes up here about two or three inches and it cuts across there and it also, it's now started to spread a little bit along the back there. I don't know if you can see that. Let's try and move this move this rope out of the way okay so it's also started to spread along there so that's the port side and the starboard side is exactly the same not as bad but it's still cracking so between the two sides and the lip at the bottom it's leaking water and like I said, it has been leaking water for years. So I intend to uh, plug the leak one way or another. So that's one of the jobs. Um, whether I get that done this week or not, I very much doubt. Um, clean up all the rubbish I've took from under the tug deck, um, which is under there. Look, so that's all now just bare steel for a little bit now. All that spray foam there I'm going to get rid of. 
um, you can see that's the insulation look and you can see where water's been dripping and running down and it's been running for years because this is all all the insulation under here look every piece I bring out has got I mean look at that one they've all got rusty drip water on them so that's it's got to be fixed it's good I can't box that back in until that's fixed um, and I think that was a lot of the issue with the floor under the water tanks before is that this has been leaking for a long time okay so let's get rid of these old boards because I'm not going to fit the old board back up because that's just manky so I'm going to cut them up and eventually I'll cut them up big enough to burn and then let's just get rid of all this foam so I need to empty out my rubbish bucket first and let's crack on with some jobs eh first things first I'm going to light the log burner not that it's that cold just because I can <laughs> Right, investigating windows. So I've took the um, the window and the frame out, and the actual paintwork behind is okay. I'm quite happy with that. However, the seal against there was perfect. So the frame sealed against the boat was absolutely brilliant because it's got this beautiful tape around here, look, and that'll be reused again. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. However, if you look at the way the glass is mounted into the frame that's uh, that's not so good so that's what's causing a lot of the leaks around each window is this uh, is this here look so I'm gonna clear out all this crud clean the clean the edge of the glass up and round the edge of this brass fitting and then I'll uh, I'll reseat it in a nice bit of black um, Sikaflex okay all right stand by Okay, so when the battery died, I did manage to get the glass cleaned. Um, I've got some panel white now to clean the glass. And I'm not going to clean the inside of this. Um, I think that's clean enough for what I need. Uh, I don't really want to put panel wipe on brass, as I don't really know what the outcome will be. I don't think it'll be a problem, but I don't want to cause any issues. So I'm not going to panel wipe that. So I'm going to give the glass a good clean now and then stick it back in the uh, in the frame okay
Right, that's the window in. Now, if you listen to this one now. Sounds good. And if you listen to this one. Not so much that one. Let's try this one. Oh, you hear that rattle? And then back to the one I've just fixed. There you go. See, that's the difference. So I need to go around now and do all the windows. See, that one's rattly as well, so I'll do this one next. Um, but all the windows in the boat need doing, so that's um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine windows altogether. Yay! Crack on. I don't think I'll get them all done today. I'm not going to rush. I might do another one. I might do this one here, actually. That's the two front ones done then. Um, but I'm not going to rush. No need to rush. Okay, right, let's crack on. Hello, Wednesday the 16th. Um, I am at the boat today. Um, but there's not a great deal I can do because I'm still painting the table um, and it started raining, so I can't paint it outside. I have done some sanding. As you can see, the table is there now waiting to be looked at, uh, or waiting to be painted, should I say. Um, so the trouble is there's a couple of little drops on it now so i'm just waiting for it to dry off a little bit i'm going to get my cloth on it and give it a wipe down and paint it in the boat that's all i can do then because once that's wet i'm not going to do any more work can't do anything to the windows yet because as i said it's raining and i don't want rain in the boat so um i'm kind of stuck so i think the plan for today is um i've got to go to midland chandler's and pick up some stuff uh, mainly for the gas locker, um, a gas regulator valve, the two-way gas regulator valve. I'm going to go and pick one of them up. So I think that's the plan. I'm going to give that a wipe off, uh, paint it in the boat, and then go to Midland Chandler's and leave that while I'm gone. Just leave that to dry overnight. Um, yeah, as I say, there's not a lot I can do here at the moment. Uh, it's not raining heavy enough to find out where the water's leaking under the tug deck. So um, that'll have to wait for another day, but I'll find it yeah okay right stand by okay thursday the 17th back of the boat um i've uh yeah let me take you off i'll show you Lit the log burner. I say it's still fairly early. It's about um, it's about quarter to nine, half past eight, quarter to nine. So jobs for today. I'm going to um, get another coat of paint on the uh, table. That'll be, that'll be the top coat. So that'll be the first of the two final top coats. So that's the first coat because this this grey at the moment that's like a high build primer. I've got another, sorry, grey, cream. It's like a high build primer, it's quite a thick paint. The paint I've got to go on is a, a Coach Enamel Gloss, uh, same colour. So that's one job, sorry. Um, another job, I'd like to get a couple of these windows done if I can. So the next two windows in the row, in the living area, get them done. And also, uh, I bought a little present with me. So that's the high build gloss paint, look, Craft Masters. Um, and then I've also bought for the front of the boat, you'll be able to see this. So there's a new gas uh, twin bottle regulator valve and new pigtails to go on the boat as well. So that's to go in the front. Let me put it down here on the floor where you can see it better. Look, there you go. Look at that. So I've got new pigtails. So, because the old ones are 20 years old, so they're bound to be a bit past it. So if I get a chance, that'll be another job for the day is to fit that, but uh, yeah. Okay, right, let's crack on. Uh, first job's first then. I'm gonna give that a bit of a sand. And um, so I'll take it outside and give it a sand. And then uh, if it's nice out, I'll paint outside. If it's not, I'll paint inside. Okay, need to tidy the boat up again. It's a mess. It's always a mess. It's always a work in progress. Okay, right, let's crack on. Thank you. 
So I've had a couple of the windows out uh, and while I'm waiting for the glue to dry before I fit the windows again uh, I'm going to give this another lick of paint so uh, I'm sure you'd like to see paint dry Okay, back at the boat and it's Friday the 18th of March. Um, today is going to be much the same as yesterday in the fact it's um, painting the table and getting that ready to sign right and also fixing the seals on the windows. Uh, I managed to get two done yesterday. Hopefully I can get another couple done today, maybe even more. Um, it'd be nice to get all the windows done but um, we'll see how far we get. I can't imagine I'll get them all done today but you never know, we'll see what we can do. So. Uh, Let's get, into the, let's get into the rest of this video and we'll finish it up. Okay, hope you enjoy. Not the prettiest, but it will do the job. It's just trying to make it as waterproof as possible. <coughs> I've cut a little nick in here lot, just so that any moisture that collects on the inside here can escape, because this is the bottom. So there's a, a route out there for the water. I mean, it may let a bit of air in, but it won't let water in, because water goes down with gravity. And I've also, you can just see in there lot, I've put a little bit of, um, well, it's the old fill out the window but it's just a little wedge thing just to hold the glass in position because until this um, Sikaflex sets it, um, it's a bit slimy and it, it, the glass tends to move the first, per, the first piece of glass I've put in has moved down a couple of millimetres so I've just put that in there now just to hold it out of the way you know so uh, not hold it out of the way but hold it up while it sets so but that'll be good that's all good okay let's fit it back in then Right, thanks for watching. Um, I didn't quite manage to get all the jobs done today that I wanted to. I'd like to have got two layers of paint on the table and then that would have been that finished, but the paint is still tacky and I don't want to rush it. I want to do a proper job. So I'm going to wait until Monday and I'll give the, uh, the table a quick key, a quick sanding and a quick key. 
uh, and then I'll give it another layer of paint and then I'll just leave it to dry. I won't touch it until it's absolutely rock hard. Um, so that's that done. I've got all the windows now sealed in bar the ones in the rear cabin. So that's, that's a, a bit of an advantage. So that's not too bad. Um, and I've sealed a couple of holes where I've removed a few bits off the back deck of the boat. So that's about it for today or for this video. So I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, then please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And also, if you've got anything you'd like to say, then please comment down below. I love your comments. So, and also, if you're watching and you're not subscribed, um, please consider it. I would appreciate it. It'd be absolutely great if you did. So, okay. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. And I'll see you on the next video. All right. Have a good weekend, guys. See you. Bye.